Hey veterinarian world, Garrett Pachtinger, criticalist and tech savvy veterinarian here today that I want to talk to you about a new device that I found. I've always been intrigued by technology and digital media and I was in the market for a new stethoscope and I came across the Think Labs digital stethoscope. So I'm pretty excited, just got it in the mail today and wanted to do a little unboxing for the veterinary world out there. So in the box it comes with a USB audio adapter. So the nice thing about digital media, digital stethoscope is that it can be hooked up to some type of technology, whether it's a computer or mobile device like iPhone through an app or a, some type of interface. So we'll take a look at that maybe later once I get it all set up. And then we obviously have here what I hope is the stethoscope itself. So let's take a look. In the box, it comes, see here, uh, a nice, Casing as you would expect with a camera of some sort not too big as you can see and quite honestly I would expect it to be fairly nice considering the price tag for this is approximately $500 so about $200 more than the Welch Allen or other digital stethoscopes out there Lift for accessories so it comes with let's take a peek here a quick reference guide you must register your device about audio filters, for example. So if you wanna find heartbeats that are low frequencies for heart sounds, especially different parts of the heartbeat itself, S2, S3. So it gives you some filter options as well. So a couple of different instruction guides. I'll probably have to read those even though I've never been really known to be one that loves instructions. I'll have to take a look at these for this device. A headphone jack and they come with their own headphones so this device itself does not have the bell which attacks, attaches excuse me to the normal tubing which comes up to your ears it actually attaches to headphones so you can use their headphones or if you have ones that you like if you want to look like a DJ running around the hospital with your big Beats by Dre or your Bose noise canceling headphones it looks like you can do that either with theirs or if yours don't fit with the headphone jack itself it comes with a Think Link interface and has a website to go to, it looks like, to attach that to some type of computer monitor. And now, it looks like we will get to the actual stethoscope itself. So let's move this out of the way for a second here. Push that to the side. So here's the case. Let's see, very nice. Inside it comes with a, one side is a USB adapter, the other side looks like a headphone jack my suspicion is and let's take a peek here yes so one side of the stethoscope does have what looks like a headphone jack interface and that is probably for charging we'll take a look at the quick guide in a second and then here is the wall charger so one side of the usb here attaches to the wall charger the other side to the stethoscope itself the diaphragm of the stethoscope says Think Labs right there on the front. And then the other side, it looks like it has a Hertz and volume monitor and a couple of different buttons around the stethoscope itself. As I twirl it around, you can see those buttons that looks like you can depress. So if I go then to our, here it is, our quick start guide. Let's take a peek here. It tells you how to charge, so as expected, you're going to hook up that little USB and the charging area, which looks like a headphone jack, but is really the charger itself. Those keys are filter keys, an alt key, it looks like for probably changing some type of setting, and a minus and plus key probably for increasing or decreasing that volume. And then on the front here, it looks like it has, again, those hertz and volume scales zero to 10, and then also a battery level, it looks like, which is nice. One thing that's always a pet peeve of mine, as you can see, I'm not wearing my Apple iWatch because it is charging. After a day's use, I automatically have to hook it up to the charger, and I guess it would be frustrating to me if I forget to charge my stethoscope after a clinic day, and then I can't really escalt a patient. So we'll have to test that out later. That'll be in an upcoming review power on, power off. That's nice. You can actually do what's called an auto shut off. 
so it will shut off automatically after a preset auto shut off time, which is nice because clearly if I'm not working with patients and I forget to shut off, it is nice that it will shut off for me to conserve battery. And then of course the filters that we talked about. So I certainly have to look online or test it out a little bit more. Oh, here, this is perfect. This is what I want, a battery level check. Typical battery life in use is 240 minutes active listening, or if it has standby power off time greater than four weeks. So we'll certainly be testing that out over the next week or two to see if that stands up. But I'm certainly excited to use my Think Labs digital stethoscope. I'll be back with another review in a week or two after I put it to the test in the clinics and we will chat then. For now, Garrett Pactinger, we'll see you next time.